Hey, this is for um, the people who watched that video, um, the Lonzo Show Border Patrol. I'm going to go ahead and do it differently because I know you can't hear me. And I'm trying to fix things tonight. I'm going to try to do this now. But my boss was telling me that um, that there's a Border Patrol agent who um, was apparently allowing illegals to come through the border. And it wasn't just illegals he was allowing to go through the border. He's allowed illegals, drugs, and, you know, all kind of shit to come through the border. The thing was that this guy earned over $30 million allowing people to come in. Now, check this out. Here's the kicker. Now, the average coyote gets $4,000 per person. This coyote was paying the Border Patrol agent $1,500 per person. Now, I don't know how much the drug czars was paying him, but $1,500 per person. Now, at $1,500, I'm working 40 hours a week. I, I give you, hey, I'm sorry. I got to be on the clock all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, for that amount of money, you figure, all right, you know, it's only a couple. I'll let a couple guys through. But after you get paid one fucking time, these motherfuckers are coming through your gate every goddamn understand about dirt I did this video you know about this job I worked at and the manager wanted to pay me nothing and the criminals wanted to give me something but in the middle I'm in the middle if I either take the money then I gotta continue to take the money you know you can't turn and be a rat after you've taken somebody's fucking money you can't be a rat when you live in a community with the people that you're fucking busting now, I ain't going to be a rat anyway. Ain't no amount of money going to make me snitch on my people. Poor people must stick together by all means necessary. Black, white, Mexican, whatever. I give a fuck. I don't care. So, this Border Patrol agent was taking money and protecting the border at the same time. How can you allow anyone, you know, even once, like I said, once you take the money, you take the money. $30 million. I'm sorry. I'd have got to like $3 million and had to quit. Now, you know what? I hurt my ankle. I'm not coming to work no more ever. But do you allow some shit to come through the, through the border that might kill your family? Think about it. What if this guy... Let's, what, what, how many tons of cocaine did he let? I forget how many tons of cocaine this man let in. But at $1,500 a person, you're watching the fucking gate. The coyote said, I got 15 people in the back. <laughs> you got 15 people at $1,500 a piece? <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Greed. And it was like, the first video I did is like, okay, the Border Patrol guy went bad. I can barely hear myself when I listen back. The Border Patrol, the border patrol guy went bad. Right? He went bad. He's dirty. Now, he's dirty. We know he's dirty. How long would he have to be at the job at $1,500 a pop to get the $30 million? $30 million. Was it 30 or 35? 30 million dollars. Was that greed? Did he get greedy? Did he get too far ahead of himself? Or did somebody give him some money? He took it. And then he had to continue to take it. He took that money every chance he could. But we want to sit here and blame Mexican people, white people, the, you know, all these people. The bottom line is this. Now, if you making, if you're making twenty five dollars an hour, and you work eight hours, that's two hundred dollars a day. You make two hundred dollars a day, and somebody walks up to you and say, "You know what? <laughs> I give you nine grand right now. You turn it back." Yeah, right. Fuck it. Turn around. Turn back. You got nine grand. Fuck. All I did was turn around and got nine thousand dollars. The problem is this. If somebody willing to give you more than what you're getting paid for to do the wrong thing, then when is doing the right thing profitable? When, when is doing the right thing the right thing to do? 
if someone could just undercut the right thing. You know, taking care of your family is the right thing, but I'm going to give you, hmm, you got a pretty good family. I'm going to give you some cocaine and some marijuana and a brand new car. Just forget about your 15-year-old daughter for a few days. Well, it's a lot of cocaine. It's a lot of marijuana. That is a brand new car. Some people are easily bought and sold. The Border Patrol should not be able to be bought or sold. So what do you say? You got to pay these guys $150 an hour so someone can't walk up and pay them more money? No. You don't. You put the military on the fucking border. You let the military do that shit. Put the National Guard to guard the nation. Um, I can bitch and complain and say a whole bunch of shit. And the Border Patrol. This is what it's supposed to be about the Border Patrol. I think I mentioned that ass whooping that those cops put out. I mentioned the ass whooping. But we're going to get back on the Border Patrol. The Border Patrol edition of the Lonzo Show. If all you're supposed to do is watch the border, make a phone, hey, there's people trying to come through the fence. Do your fucking job. Um, I know there's people trying to get a better life, but you catch them, you send them to some place, they fill out the proper paperwork, they go home. A couple months later, their papers come through, and then they can come back. If I'm wrong, let me know I'm wrong. But to let people run willy-nilly throughout any country, especially the one I live in, is fucked up. Nobody give me none of that fifteen hundred dollar kickback money. Ain't nobody give me none of that ten and fifteen thousand dollar let the cocaine truck through money. Nobody give me none of that. Nobody's giving me anything in life. Nobody owes me anything either. The moral of the story is this: if you got a fucking job, do your job. Do your job. If you gonna be dirty, be dirty. Don't let greed, power, or threats control you because you're going to die. Everybody dies. Someone said I contradicted myself on a video, but I told this guy life itself is a contradiction. Life itself is a contradiction. If all we do is live to die, then we need to make the best out of this while we live. Because we don't know what we're going to see after we die. And I hate to have to say this, but I'd rather leave out with a clean slate than the slate that I already got. Trust me, I've done more dirt than a, than a rock quarry. Put it like that. i put it down. I've done bad things. So the rest of my life, no matter how I think i got about 25, 30 years left. I'm 40 now, so you figure... Yeah, 25, 30 years. I ain't rich. Yeah, no health care. Yeah, maybe less than that. But the moral of the story is this. I cannot allow the future of my species, of my country, or even myself. I can't even allow, allow myself to go out like this. Life itself is fucked up. We need the best of the best to bring us the best. Now, if we can't trust the people who are supposed to be watching our borders, then maybe we should put somebody else on the fucking borders. Maybe we should use our military on the borders instead of Iraq and Afghanistan. If we can't change the will of another country, at least we can do it better the people in this one. And that is where our country fails. It's not a black and white thing. It's a human thing. It's a rich and poor thing if every person who makes less than thirty thousand dollars a year march the streets and complain what color of people will you have marching the streets if every person of every color who made less than fifty thousand a year marched the streets what color of people would you have marching the streets hmm you'd have a whole bunch of people marching the streets and all of us would do a job on the border patrol 
Because I can make a phone call and say, get the fuck up out of here. And you've been tubed.